Good morning, Northwestern High School. I'm Nate. I'm Gabe. I'm Josh. Antarctica, the only place on Earth that hasn't been overrun by pesky humans, is showing worrying signs of pollution in the form of a black carbon layer blanketing the snow caused by the tourism industry burning fossil fuels nearby. According to a new study published in the journal Nature Communications this week, researchers found that more and more humans are spending time in Antarctica. It's a vicious cycle. The darker the ice and snow, the less reflective it is, making you more vulnerable to the sun's warming rays. The team examined snow samples taken near tourist destinations around the peninsula, taken between 2016 and 2020, and found considerably higher amounts of black carbon than in other parts of Antarctica. Unsurprisingly, they say humans are to blame. Quote, our surveys show that black carbon content in snow surrounding research facilities and popular shore tourist landing sites is considerably above background levels measured elsewhere in the continent, end quote. The researchers wrote, this dark layer accelerates snow melting and shrinking snowpack on black carbon impacted areas on the Antarctica Peninsula. Antarctica is currently one of the most rapidly warming regions on the planet. Ali Khan, a snow and ice scientist at Western Washington, D.C., and co-author of the study, told CNN snow is already melting due to impacts of climate change, but this is an exacerbating factor on snow melt. Despite some tourist ships supplementing their <laughs> engines with electric motors and using slightly less polluting kinds of diesel fuel, we have to do far more to reverse, or at least slow down, the 10 the researchers argue. And it's only getting worse. According to the study, around 74,000 people visited the continent in the summer between 2019 and 2020, a whopping 32% increase from the year before. The news comes after scientists found that Antarctica sea ice is currently at the record low. Even more <laughs> worryingly, we still don't entirely understand how the problem is actually affecting the planet yet. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Kelly. Now, Kelly... What would you consider your favorite movie? Um, Hairspray. That is a solid opinion. Thank you for your time, Kelly. I'm here with... Tyler. Now, Tyler, in your opinion, what is the greatest movie of all time? In my opinion, the greatest movie on to of all time is the original Halloween movie. That is a wonderful opinion. I accept. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just playing Beatstar. If you haven't heard already, Beatstar is a very popular game at Northwestern High School. Everybody's playing it. Teachers, students, literally everybody. If you ask me, this game could be as big as Among Us. Speaking of Among Us, Josh has a segment on Among Us. Thanks, Nate. Remember that segment on Among Us we did two weeks ago? Well, we have some interesting information to share with you. The hit game Among Us is a common household theme to hear nowadays. It's from the success that people are starting to make money off of Among Us. The meme community is taking the game to new heights. Probably the most interesting phenomenon that is happening is taking place on eBay. Sellers on eBay have started to sell Among Us shaped chicken McNuggets from the BTS meal at McDonald's. The nuggets have been selling for thousands of dollars, and there must be hundreds of them on the eBay platform. The BTS Among Us McNugget is particular is selling for five grand. BTS, if you don't know, is a Korean pop band that did a brand deal with McDonald's. The meme community has already tarnished these collabs with McDonald's, with the last brand deal being the Travis Scott Burger, and what the community calls the, quote, the Travi McFatty Patty. This history of the meme community, with brand deals at McDonald's, combined with a huge following of Among Us, resulted into some pretty crazy information. If you look up Among Us Chicken Nuggets on eBay, you can see what I'm talking about. It turns out that being part of this meme community can have its benefits after all, regardless if you think it's funny. Hi, I'm here with... Kirsten Borman. Now, Kirsten, in your opinion, what would you consider the greatest film ever made? Cars. I accept. Thank you for watching. I'm Nate. I'm Gabe. And I'm Josh. And this is Northwestern Daily News.